It's Friday, we've got mascots, and we're going to give them a piece of our mind, I tell you what. It's Retro Pals Mascot Friday. Hi everybody, it's the Hi. end of the week, you made it to the end of another week, congratulations. And now you get to take out all your anger and frustration on 32-bit uh, generation's most beloved mascots. Please be nice to them, they're very sensitive nowadays. They are, they're little crybabies, honestly. Yeah, yeah, toughen up, uh, fuckers. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm calling mascots uh, wimps. I'm turning on these guys on a dime. I'm just like, no, you should be nice to them. Actually, fuck those guys. No, actually, they're pretty cool. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, it's it's Retro Pals, Mascot Hi. Friday. It's been quite a while since we last did a uh, 3D platformer ranking stream, so let's change that. And uh, we're going to get things back on track with a very famous game, a, a famous game that many of you have played. You probably have opinions on it, and uh, you're going to make those opinions known tonight. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to it. Let your voices be heard. Yeah, yeah. Alex, why don't you thank some folks? Well, thank you so very much to Celtape for the 18-month resub, number nine, number nine. That's 18! Yes, thank you. The math checks out. Thank you. Thank you, Gretchen Lay, for the 77-month resub. It took 77 months, but finally, I am going to learn what the hell Taifu, Wrath of the Tiger, is. You will. I've, I've had this in the on the back burner for a really long time. I've had a Taifu... Uh, downloaded copy on my hard drive for like years now and finally finally we're gonna play that damn thing and last but not least thank you spectrum at 25 bits cash banuka okay <laughs> cash banuka that's what they called him back then. that is what they called him the boy could do no wrong uh, at least until the playstation 2 era but we're not there yet we're here in his salad days as he calls them on the playstation 1 crash is always going on about his salad days about how uh you know there was so much salad he couldn't even eat it all there were so many all-you-can-eat salad bars in the 90s. I That's get That's true. It. Yeah, even Wendy's. You could just go there and have a fresh salad. Not so much anymore. The world Sorry. is a different place. It's a shame in some ways. But we can always go back and relive the good times with uh, games like Crash Bandicoot Warped, which is our first game for tonight. Now, as usual, you will be judging these based on uh, a certain famous mascot platformer. In this case, for 3D platformers, you're here to decide whether this game is better or worse than Gex 64, the uh, N64 version of Gex 2, I think it was. So keep that in mind. Oh my god, I had this game as a kid. I, I like this game, I'm just gonna spoil it. <laughs> it's, it's fun. I had this game as a kid too. I bought it, uh, well as a kid, as a teenager, I, I bought it on sale at the video store I worked at when they were clearing out old titles. Oh nice. I also got Lammy that way too. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, the gang's all here. Warped. Alright. All right, Alex, Which you ready to go? Uh, the purple Stop. controller, the pink and purple one. Damn That's me. the one that doesn't have a, uh, a broken bumper, so be careful with it. <laughs> I will. I'll be very gentle. It's very beautiful. This is a very Danny controller. I Thank you. I, I bought a backup Xbox Series controller. It's the uh, weird pink-purple fusion one with weird uh, smoky colors on it. Love it. Each one is personalized. Mine says, thank you, Danny. No, it doesn't, actually. I was going to look. Yeah, it's got a little bit of Cheeto dust on it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ain't you scratching my 51 month or resub? Whoa, indeed. Yeah. Whoa! Thank you. What is Alex's challenge tonight? Have fun. <laughs> Alex, I will. I've challenged Alex enough this week. <laughs> you had at least a dozen challenges during our Nick Arcade stream, That's and true. I thought you did great, at least on the, uh, the caveman centric, centric games. Yeah, for some reason, I'm good with those cavemen. Oh my goodness. Thank, Thank you, you for the three dollar donation, Corey V. I'm glad to have brought I'm glad we've been bringing y'all joy, man. Thank no, I'm glad you. to hear it. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. And I finally changed it so that uh, alerts are now audible for money donations. Oh good! It took long enough. Also thank you, Frappe, for the donation the other day, which we missed, and which oh, inspired me to fix things. <laughs> Uka Uka, it was that infernal bandicoot from DB. This is so impressive for PS1. It's all in engine. Mm -hmm. instructions to borrow, but Can you turn it up a little bit? Lost the gems. You lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience. There is now no other power source left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate 
setbacks? And failed! But since your bumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way for us to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time the great Ugaunga will make sure that you It's Megamind. Right. That is Megamind! After many eons, my evil twin. Ah, uh, nah, we're using Medinafi for this bad boy. from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, like Crash's casual pose. He's he just hanging out. He's so happy. Children, Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. Not the time twister. I no, I need those. Cover the crystals before they do so. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. This is how hub worlds work. Thank you, guy. So we've covered Crash Bandicoot 1, the primordial entry in the series that some people don't like, but I actually like a lot. It's my favorite in the series. 2 and 3 are also really good. Uh, we covered 2 before, and now it's time to cover the last PS1 entry in the series, Crash Bandicoot Warped. Now, as he said, just stand on the button and jump in the portal to Toad Village. Okay, let's go to Toad Village. As usual, Alex is uh, going to play a few levels crash, first. Crash, crash, Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look, I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Did this guy ever make up with uh, Crash Bandicoot, or are they still enemies? I think he tried to in Crash 2, but then turned on him in the end in a Dr. Wily-style twist. And now they're just enemies again. That's Dr. Neo Cortex. There's also his assistant, Embryo, and uh, all the weird mutants that I don't remember the names of. I just know Crash and Coco and uh, Tana? Tana, yes. Yeah. His furry icon girlfriend. God, they're all furry icons in this game. We were discussing this before the stream, like which Crash Bandicoot uh, characters became furry icons. Not really Crash himself, but uh, his female counterparts really, uh, really, really caught took on. Stage, yeah. There was something that people really, really saw in those characters, but not Crash himself. I don't know. I could see it being shirtless and wearing jorts, just running around spinning. Bye. That's the life. Yeah, mad scientists gotta leave these poor mammals alone. They just want to be nice and unmutated. Okay, so far this is Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, you run around and, and spin into things. Now, like in 2, you also have a slide move that you can use by uh, pushing the right bumper or the circle button. And if you do that into a jump, you do like a long jump. I'm back. Welcome back, yeah, Crash. Get, 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 get back. <laughs> Alex just wants to get into the action. I am a man on the move. This is a game that feels good to play. Just the way the camera swings really draws you into it. I don't know. There's just something about these PS1 Crash Bandicoot games that they couldn't replicate on any other system. They tried to make it a little too complex. Well, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Something about marching forward and smashing into those boxes. And they make these uh, delicious sound effects. Maybe not delicious, but it's nice and satisfying. It's pretty delicious. Everything has a nice crunch. And yeah, this is gorgeous. They really knew how to push the PS1 by this point. Well, I didn't get all the boxes. I don't care. Go back and get the rest. No, y you do it. Okay. No! <laughs> no, don't show me up. Hey, Whiskey fan. Welcome to Crash. Welcome. All right. Oh, Village. And yeah, I probably played uh, the Crash series so much that those single-handedly destroyed my PS1's laser back in the day because they constantly load in new data as they're playing each level. Things are going to be okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm playing Crash Bandicoot. I think things are going to be okay. Look at this water. This is so pretty. Beautiful water. Okay, I don't like the situation that I'm in. Yeah, could be better for Crash. There we go. You think they rotoscoped the Australian Ocean? Yeah, that's just what it's like in Australia. 
Australia. Okay. I was thinking about Australia the other day, and it kind of made me pissed, because no matter where you are in that continent, you're close to a beach. I guess unless you're... Wrong! You're in, what if you're in the middle of the continent? Well, you can still walk like 10 miles and get to a beach. No, Danny thinks that Australia is quite tiny. <laughs> I haven't actually done a... I was gonna say, are we close to the beach? A size comparison. We are, actually. It's like we're in Australia right now. Danny, it's like many hours from here to the beach. Practically putting our, our feet in the sand right now. Corpus Christi, which is just a block away. <laughs> oh, look out. On a macroscopic level, we're all Australia. See? You understand. Okay. I mean, that's... that's... Stop these boxes. Australian pop culture is fucked up. You ever heard of the, uh, the Gobble Dock? What? Look up, look up that guy. They got their own commercial mascots that are just as insane as the ones we have over here. We watched a instructional video on my stream yesterday where this Australian lady taught us how to make all these meals in the microwave. Yeah, she was all like, you can put foil in the microwave, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, she's like, as long as it doesn't touch each other. And uh, technically she's right. I was like, I may I see a demonstration, please? <laughs> she, she didn't demonstrate for some reason. Maybe Australian microwaves are just built different. Maybe Australians are built different. They are. They're much stronger than us Americans. Oh, a little foil in the microwave never hurt nobody. Why did I run into that? I get this thing. Good. I don't know what song that is, but that sounds that sounds like something they would do. Those crazy Aussies. Sneaker Nets, thank you for the 70 bits. Thank you. 70 bits. Oh. They killed the bit wars for you. Yeah, games never really looked better than this, so. Damn. Crystal. Just just plowing on through. Clubber Boy by Regurgitator. <laughs> that, of course that's real. Of course that's, that's a real yeah, Australian that... song. Yeah, once you see this VOD frappe, uh, feel free to debunk everything I say. Especially the part about always being close to the beach. Mm -hmm. Are you close to the beach? Right in. Well, when I lived in California... California, now that place is close to the beach. Yeah, I guess. It's just like everyone's about two hours away from the beach for the most part. It's America's Australia. No. No. Australia's cooler. Sorry. <laughs> I like how Crash face plants when he switches out with uh, with Coco. Ah, oh, this game's so good. It's just, man, it feels wrong that we have to play a good game tonight. You know, like we're not torturing ourselves in some way. That'll change next week with uh, our next uh, Wednesday showcase, which is going to be licensed game hell. I don't know about this. That licensed game hell. In well, we have to go back to License Game Hell sometime. The dragon. Oh yeah, Twitch wants me to remind you in the final week of September that if you give subs right now, you might get some extra ones. So now's a good time to, to do that if you feel the need. I feel the need for speed. Okay, good. <laughs> ah. Ah. Good, good follow-up. I oh, die. Poor Coco. It's fine, it's fine. Coco live. Coco died, Coco lit, that's Coco life. That's Coco Melon. They really throw all the different kinds of levels at you, like, right away. The, they put the, the level where you ride an animal on, and the uh, one where you ride a submarine. I don't like the one-hit death. That September remote is actually really good. <laughs> I hope they keep that. The Blombie Snake. Coco! My lives! All right, focus, Alex. You okay. only have you only have ten lives left. Did she make her debut in uh, Crash Team Racing? I didn't actually have that one as a kid. I hear it's really good though. And yeah, if you want to play as her in all the games, you can do the uh, the Crash trilogy. What is it? 
best kart racers ever. Wow. I really like the, the remake they made of that game. I played that a lot. Oh, yeah, you played the shit out of it. I really like that one. I have a soft spot for kart racers. Why did Naughty Dog shift away from <laughs> making kart racers and cool animal games? Because they all got to remake the same game. Now, oh, God! Rocket City Rando, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yeah, I saw the gift subs. I was like, ah, 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 and I started jumping along. <laughs> Alex, I got, I got Alex went out of control. He was so excited. Oh my god. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And thank oh. you, Sneaker Dance, for the 70 bits. Thank you so much. Well, there's more Bandicoot to load in the remake. It's, it's called technology. That's why we need the PS5 Pro. Mm -hmm. So they can lo load even more animals. Think of how many animals the PS5 Pro can load into memory at the same time. Five, six, maybe, yeah, back. maybe seven. Do you like me? I'm going to the boneyard. The crash Orange. doesn't sound like that. Orange Ride, thanks for gifting a sub to Saboy J. Welcome. Oh, 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 yeah, thank you for the gift sub. What? I don't like his teeth. And bring them to Big Colosseum in Rome. Crash, leave them for tiny. The face reminds me or of a uh, dog and wolf. Crash. Oh my god! Singing duo, Friends Forever. <laughs> Someone randomly posted a screenshot of it being like, I don't know where I am on YouTube, but they're showing me shit like this. <laughs> yeah, every so often I see someone reference it, and I'm like, yes, you know Dog and Wolf. Someone did it during their karaoke stream once, and I just Whoa. lost my fucking mind. Friends Forever, big and small. Sometimes barking and not in any disguise. Sometimes fighting, but mostly getting along. Yeah, okay, okay, thank you. Like one person knows what I'm talking about, but they're marking out right now. Damn, they really do every single gameplay type in this first world. The classic being chased by something. Crash, you're being chased. I am being chased by a dinosaur! Just like my hero! Bongo Bandicoot, they call him. It's okay, this is not a 100% run. I'm, I'm screaming, oh, you're gonna do 100% grass, but no crates. All right, I see how it is. <laughs> 12 lives. This game throws a lot of lives at you. Which is nice, because I need them. Yeah. The early crash games tend to do that, which I appreciate, because some of the later platforming is a little rough. You must collect all boxes, you must! No! You tell me to collect all boxes, and... There's treats in them! What kind of treats? Uh, delicious wumpa fruit. Crash's favorite, uh, food. Does he ever actually eat those? These are just apples to me, I'm sorry. They're wumpa fruit! Alex! Is branding not important to you? Just assuming lump of fruit is copyrighted. I maybe it's one box. maybe it's an actual Australian fruit. I missed one box. He does eat one in Twin Sanity. <laughs> okay. I'm glad they clarified that they are edible, and there's a reason for him to be collecting them. Yeah, he could just be storing them away for later. Nice treat. They do look delicious. I'm sorry. Yeah, and it makes a. Again, really juicy and delicious sounding sound effect whenever you collect one. The, the sound effects are an unsung hero of the Crash Bandicoot series. They really are. He wanted to make Wumpa Fruit Muffins. I think he does that in uh, the Xbox one. Bye, 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 bye. Bye! Bye! No! No! Go, go, go! Whew! Good job, good job. Should I finish off the world? Yeah. Okay. Donna is the Reiko Nagase of Crash 1. Good, good PS1 specific analogy. I appreciate that. PS1 franchises are all one shared continuity. 
Absolutely. I do like the way he face plants and dies. It's so good. He's been a goof since the beginning. Like, he's never been positioned as being, like, a cool character. He's so uncool. I love it. Yeah, I think this, uh, this kind of level is new to Crash 3. I remember these being okay. They're fine. It's at least something different to do. There's Gran Turismo in Crash games. Well, the driver in every Gran Turismo game is actually Crash Bandicoot. You just can't see him. That makes sense. Okay, we were talking about what kind of furry Crash would be. He'd be one of those young party furries who... Uh-oh, I drowned. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, they really killed me. He'd be one of those young party furries who brings those ba those backpacks with Bluetooth speakers in them. He's always playing like... Like meme songs. Yes! Oh my god, he's always playing meme songs and music from TikTok that got real popular. He's making a lot of TikToks. Yo, check out my parody Toho remixes. <laughs> Crash is a glomper. In the it, back in the day, he would have been a glomper. He would have given so many glomps. catchphrase. Bah! <laughs> Alex's other catchphrase. Oh, yeah, that's great. Thanks. Ooh. Ooh. Good save. Alex, were you sassing in the game? Yes. And it sassed me back with impossible gameplay. There we go. But I beat it. People still glomp nowadays. They just do it in private. Yeah, it's, it's, it's self play. Yeah, <laughs> we've politicized clomping. I deserve that. I deserve that. We're talking about clomping. This game needs sass. This game needs gex. I'd, I'd believe it. You are the gex expert officially now, so. Yeah, I. After 100%ing every single game in the series. Is your you, brain okay? You have clout now. You can say these things and get away with it. Better than we've ever done. We played like 10% of every GX game. <laughs> and, and they're, they're like, like this, yeah, is okay, this is okay, I guess. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? GX 2 for the Game Boy is a uh, tolerable experience, I suppose. <laughs> At least we didn't say that. Yeah. Nightmare Blunt Rotation Crash GX Bubsy. <laughs> oh, God. They would, they would never shut up. Crash would gain the ability to speak English, and uh, <laughs> you would wish he had. Yeah, fine. Make it this hard in the first level. You got this. I know, I'm just saying. I'm just sassing. Yeah, watching watching the many hours of you playing Gex 2 and Game Boy Color, I was like, wow, I never want to play this. <laughs> I'm glad we ranked that already. Whoa. work. Oh, I didn't get them all, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a pass. Thank you. Alright, Danny, I think it's your turn to try Crash Bandicoot War. You gotta fight the boss. Oh, boss? Can you finish out the first world? Can I? That's your final challenge for this week. Tiny Tiger. You can beat a Tiny Tiger. Mm, no. Crash! Coco! Store the pretty crystals! Tiny take them back in Gladiator Arena! Time to fight. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. In Gladiator Arena. Who is this guy? He's cool. Is he, he? He's a gladiator, but he seems like a redneck. You know what I mean? You can be both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get his ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. It just ate you up. Hey, I October. Yeah, you just missed the first few levels. Alex is on the first boss. Oh, that 
Watch out for the lions. Okay. They'll eat you up. See? I... Do I need to spin when I do that? You just, you just avoid them, I think. Did they ever bring back the kangaroo with the, the machine gun? Fuck! Pinstripe. I like that guy. I'm gonna try spinning because those. I mean, I try moving left and right. The lines like go right where I am. Okay. You got plenty of lives to try it. They did bring him back. Good. That guy had a screw loose. Yeah, oh, okay. you can. Okay. So well, definitely better to spin than lions. Yeah, you just can't always be spinning. I think you're getting it, though. First boss, huh? Uh-huh. Flying part's bullshit, I'm sorry. Ramon88 US, thank you for the sub. Yeah, I didn't know either. I always dodged him. Alex is out here finding new strats. Whoa! Danny, this is unfair and difficult. I believe in you. I think you can get this. Yeah, usually in these goofy cartoon games, when they have a character named Tiny, it's like some big brawny dude, but I guess Tiny Kong is the exception. You heard me moving, right? Yeah, I heard you pushing the button. Oh, that comes from Tiny Tim, I see. The ironic use of the word Tiny. Pity mask. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> oh, they gave you fewer uh, lions. The game ranked down. Good. That's that's actually kind of nice because it it gave you plenty of lives before it, it did that, and it didn't kind of kind of a subtle way. Oh, the very last one. <laughs> See what I mean about bad and unfair. You got eaten by the very last one. Oh. To your credit, you haven't played a 3D platformer in a while. That is true. I've been mostly training Alex on uh, 2D platformers. I think after clearing your 1,000th platformer, you'll be able to uh, deathless clear pools and ghosts. No. It's easy. I've done it like a lot of times. You gotta, yeah. All you gotta do is play the game. See? You basically got the skills already. Carmen, thank you for the 100 bits. Delicious Bandicoot on the Barbie. Is Bandicoot delicious? Maybe maybe we shouldn't know these, these things. I don't wanna know. Nice work, Alex. You did it. I, I only took me a billion lives. Sorry, everybody. It's okay. You had plenty well in reserve. Done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to up the next head, time but... travel area. Go back there to the go. center of this time twister and save your progress, if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. All right, I'm taking over control now. So, deathless uh, clear up to up to this point. First, we should save, I guess. Yeah, you gotta save. Hey, folks, I did it. I I gamed. Nice gaming. Thank you. I've been learning. I've been practicing on all my multimedia CDs. Yeah, those give you a lot of practice. <laughs> I was gonna say, my last stream was actually pretty. We, I, I showed off a lot of uh, CES previews of stuff that didn't come out, including a game that was by Sierra that was like Socks the Cat Rocks the Hill, but an adventure game. I'm so sad it didn't come out. Yeah, it was by Al Lowe. Yeah. Apparently they didn't uh, get too far on it, so there's probably not a prototype to find. But yeah, yeah they were the, all like... the one screenshot they showed showed like a 
a Ross Perot statue in the in the vein of Venus de Milo. And the water was coming out of his giant ears. <laughs> yeah. That was probably he was like, okay, I can't top this. We need to cancel this. I'm out of ideas. Alright, world two. Gee whiz. Ah, is the name Why, Crash Enters in all of his uh, save files. What? Where was I? Oh, Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart. Parents might have thought this, these we segments were brainwashing their kids. I bet there was at least a couple. <laughs> They're hypnotizing our kids to be bandicoots. I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing at topping Ross Perot. I'm yeah, sorry. that's... I'm sorry, I'm normal. Uh, I think that's a thought no one's ever had, because... Ross now they Perot, have, unfortunately. Ross Perot stopped being a, a concern this century. He ran for president once, and he was like, eh, fuck that, and then just kind of fucked off. This was kind of weird. A little bit. What if I prefer analog or digital for this game? Look at that goat! That is a fantastic goat! Your parents thought that the, the visualized, the music visualizers are brainwashing them. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, some of those Jeff Minter ones might have, uh, might yeah, have had some secret shit well. in them. Damn, he really, he really does have a super slam in this. He does a spin and everything. You know, I think I'm gonna stick with digital control. Okay. I'm glad they, they give you the option, though. Take that, nerd. These nerds. Oh, this is fun. Remember, remember when games were fun? Sometimes. I guess they still make fun games. They just put them all in UFO 50. I still I need to play that. I it's hear so it's accept good. I hear it's an acceptable video game. <laughs> People are saying UFO 50 is an acceptable video game. I would like to play a modern game. And I would like to play a game that doesn't have Hey. Oh, it was you. Did you see the checkpoint was right there. Yeah. He zapped me right in the butt. Cartman, thank you for the thank 100 you bits. For the 100 bits. Renaissance fairs, am I right? Danny? Yeah. Can I tell you about the funny YouTube video I watched? Sure. It's normal, I promise. Okay, as long as it's normal. So, you're, it's not going to sound normal when I say it, but I promise it's normal. So, I was watching footage of. Cop body cam footage of. All right. I told you it's normal. Okay. Of a couple who got kicked out of a rent fair. <laughs> yeah. Because they went to, they got really drunk and went to a juggling performance and basically took the guy's stuff and tried to juggle it themselves. <laughs> and why are, like, you telling, why, why are you telling? Why are you telling on us, us like out this? Because we can juggle. Okay. <laughs> now the reason I'm telling you all this is because after the security made them leave, they changed clothing and tried to come back <laughs> to keep juggling. Look, guys, we didn't have plans for the rest of the day. We have to do this. <laughs> We based our, ent our entire day off of harassing this juggler. Watching <laughs> them come back was just beautiful. I'm, and, they're, and they're walking back in, and, and, and they're like, what? What do we do? Why? What's wrong? <laughs> you hate juggling, huh? We're just here to enjoy the Ren Fair. these people who have not been here yet today. <laughs> Thank you, Kyrie, for the nine-month race of Yo, pals, I hope you're doing, you're both doing well. Also, ew, nine months, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the nine months. And congrats on the Fester's Quest speedrun. Have a new member of the Fester's Quest speedrun community as of today. I gotta try running that game again. It looks well. Oh my god, they kiss you! What? Has anyone ever been hit by a frog in this game before? I don't think I've ever seen that. God, it makes sense that the UK wouldn't have run fairs because I assume this isn't all like novel for you. Okay, okay, did I tell you that my hometown? didn't have a run fair, they had the Charles Dickens Festival, where, except instead of being like Renaissance themed, it was all Victorian era themed. 
I never and heard of that. the funny thing is, be, they, because we had, like, a lot of the people, in, you know, we had a big run fair in, in California and stuff, a lot of the run fair people would try to repackage our run fair stuff for the Victorian stuff. And yeah, just, that tracks. It was so funny. It was so good. <clears throat> you gotta focus on your niche. Yeah, we can we can do Ren Fair Charles Dickens, basically the same thing. Also a Charles Dickens festival? I know, right? It was it was you would have people like dressed up and there'd be like some people doing book talks and then there'd be like people selling British food. Uh -huh. I don't know. I, I don't know why you would have a Charles Dickens festival, but th that they did in Riverside, California. Don't know if they're still doing it, but if they are, uh, you could go and get some soup at the Unitarian Church downtown. That's what I always did. That uh, was you the, got genie. That was their special British food, soup? No, that was one of the special British foods. Okay. It was soup, and then it was fried sausages. <laughs> this sounds really this sounds this sounds fake but also real at the same time it, it is it's oh yeah you can hang in this one look at that the bandicoot learned some new tricks what i remember most is that i really liked this suit but my friend who worked who who wrote for the school newspaper with me had just a wretched time. <laughs> and so she called the Charles Dickens Festival in her write up the Sucky Soup Sit Down. <laughs> <laughs> she should talk to the local festival in the school newspaper. Yeah! <laughs> the school newspaper rocked. If I was the teacher, I don't know if I would have let that happen. Oh, no, the teacher... they like, can you be a little nicer to these people, please? She thought it was funny. So, no. Uh, the teacher who ran it, she was like, no. <laughs> she let us do all kinds of stuff in the school newspaper, which is why we got into feuds with other... With other teachers in the school newspaper. Oh, my God. Well... It was a Catholic school, and we would do fake horoscopes where we would just make up jokes and stuff. And the the they they got mad at us being like the, the church diocese. They were like, "Excuse me, this is not spiritual enough." <laughs> so we did something called spirit scopes, which were religious themed horoscopes, and we were just randomly putting in Bible quotes and shit. And we were like, "Yeah, get mad at us for spirit scopes, okay?" <laughs> mad now? Anyways, that was. We'll talk to God about this. One. <laughs> that's, that's what it's like. I guess being doing the school newspaper in, in the nineties at the Catholic school. <laughs> uh -huh. Mighty Vin, that is so good that I need to tell you this, Danny. Okay. Mighty Vin says, "I'll never forget in my Catholic high school that got very upset that the school paper printed the headline: Passion of the Christ nails it." <laughs> Whoa, what a headline. I would have allowed it. My That's my... one of the best headlines ever I written. I know, I know, right? You wait your entire journalist career to write a headline like that. I'm glad that there were other <laughs> other Catholic students who used the school newspaper to be a sassy little freak. I hate that guy. He's okay. Oh, okay. Now we like this guy? Watch out for the nitro. Thank you. I think they could have continued this style of gameplay in the PS2 era without changing it up to be more complex, more open-world oriented. I think Crash is at its best when it's it's simple like this. I agree. I don't like when Crash is too complicated. And I guess that's why they went back to this with Crash 4. Because the people missed it. I still miss it. I miss you, Crash. Come back. Crash will come back. He'll come back and give you a little kiss. Mm. Oh, nice. I've been waiting for that. Crash is at its best when it's super hog ride. You. Oh, man. You ready to ride a hog? <laughs> we got the world's first super magnetic Neo fan in chat. Glad to have you here. Revenant, I must reveal a secret. I did not try to get my school paper to run Doonesbury because... A certain person 
who I will not name, uh, drew drew the comic for the school newspaper. Ah. Uh. And uh, I still have the comics I drew <laughs> for that. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I still have them around somewhere. They weren't very good, but but it was. Here's the thing: if you read Doonesbury or Bloom County, you may as well have read my comic. <laughs> They were Doonesbury inspired. Very. Oh my god. That's the least surprising thing I've ever heard from you, Alex. Luckily, those those, those comics weren't very good. They're long gone. They're somewhere, like in my. I don't know where they are. But they're here somewhere. So these are new to Crash 3, also, I think. These racing levels! Oh! You get to keep going. I oh, just... you get to keep going. Oh, I assume I, I assume that was a death for some reason. Oh, yeah, fifth fit. place. Fifth place isn't good enough for Crash. Does it still let me move on? That's pretty nice. It should let you move on. The only Crash alike you've ever enjoyed. I've played a few levels. I thought it was okay. It was a little confusing at first because of the uh, polarity mechanics. You could do worse though. It's tomb time. It's tomb time. I wish I went funky Winker Bean in the comics. I wish I was just like, here are all the characters who are dying. Yeah? Yeah. It would have been really funny. <laughs> oh, I remember these tomb levels. They're all like full of traps and stuff. I like that alligator. I like a lot of this game. It's beautiful for a PS1 game. I'm not ashamed to say that Crash is beautiful. Crash is beautiful. He's beautiful just the way he is. And nobody should try to change him. All right, you want to let the cat out? Oh, yes, yeah. She listened to us yell for a while but animals can only take so much of us. Set buttons. Yeah, he's been wanting to be part of the show lately. Yeah, if you missed the last few streams, Buttons, uh, our other cat, has been walking in being like, Hey! Yeah, secret Buttons cameos. I'm like, no, you're ruining our Nick Arcade stream! Come on, Buttons! He just wants a part of the action. Oh yeah, that crate did explode off screen. That's nice. There's so many nice things in this game. I remember the collectathon aspect being a problem in the first game because you had to do everything in one run, but they made it a lot nicer in the sequels. Buttons did a gamer challenge the uh, today when he was playing with the. Uh, the, the bird toy, he knocked a feather off of it. Oh yeah! It's really active. That's a cat's video challenge. Open! Open! <laughs> I thought it would open. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. See, if that happened to me, I'd be screaming at this game and calling it a bad game. That's why you're a stronger gamer than I am. Yeah, you'd be like, FUCK! I would say that, unfortunately. And Crash would be like, such a language. Crash like, watch your mouth. There's children around. Me, apparently. <laughs> He's... He's a teenager or he something. He's a teenager. He's, like... He's a hip teen. What am I doing? I don't have this gym. You were just trying to be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Wow, that looked awful. It's a little... the platforming in these games can be a little challenging. A little tricky. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I still got it. have you know 
during the uh, the multi-game G-Pool Championship a few months ago in the Crash Bandicoot 2 Challenge. I took second place. Yeah, you did good. Out of four. I got hung up on a wall, otherwise I would have won. I took a lot of second places during that uh, thing, but my team ended up winning in the end, so... Second place gets uh, degrees. Fuck. <laughs> Too busy trying to think and talk while playing video games. Do like the snake. Very cool. Good. I hate this. I don't like the way they're swinging. It's just jumping in 3D space. Ugh, I hate jumping in 3D space. <laughs> That's why we don't do 3D rankings anymore. <laughs> it's better to be second place at Crash 2 because it's 2. That's true. I was just living up to the name. Right, one more level here. Okay, Midnight Run! Oh, is this another animal level? Probably. Never think and play video games at the same time. It never works. Dingo dials the name, and Uka Uka and Cortex gave me orders to bring the crystals to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. I like Dingo Dial, he seems alright. <laughs> yeah, he's an okay guy. I've never heard of Dream Zone, yeah, yeah, that early Naughty Dog stuff. Or maybe it was just Jason Rubin, I'm not too familiar with. I know they made a Sega Genesis game and put a booby in it. That I know. That I, I know about that. Not Naughty Dog doing that, but everyone's forgotten. Naughty Dog indeed. Mm. See, they used to push boundaries. They put boobs in games. They had White Zombie do the soundtrack to their 3DO fighting game. Now all they do is remake Last of Us over and over again. That's true, though. I wish they would make original games, and I think that they should make games that are like, uh... Uh... I was gonna say Crash, but... They should make, they should make more games that are like... What if... What if... Last of Us Racing? Alright, free idea for Naughty Dog. The Crash of Us. Where the, Perfect! Where the zombie virus turns everyone into bandicoots. <laughs> Sell that shit to HBO. <laughs> I feel bad that I'm a video game show hater. I shouldn't be. I should be enjoying. Yeah. I'm okay. You're cool. I just know one day they're gonna make a prestige TV show out of Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures. Oh, that would be sick! I'm waiting on that. You truly will see Pac-Man have a realistic panic attack. <laughs> and it'll be appropriate! Yeah. It'll be gorgeously animated. a friendly kitty. I'm afraid of the lore for the Witch Pac-Man show. There's the new one. There's the old one. There's What's she got there? A laptop? Yeah. Neat. She's a computer nerd. Ghostly Adventures. Yeah, yeah. I heard it has interesting lore, but... Oh my god, yeah, the PS5 Pro. He could be that guy in the mascot costume who's always yelling at Nintendo. Ooh. They could finally render that. I guess I need to do... We'll do one more attempt of this. I want to see the ride. boss. They were doing a Namco cinematic universe for a while with the uh, web comics. They need to do it again. Yeah. All right, Danny. Win the race. Okay. How do I win? You go fast. Yeah. And you don't crash. But my name but is I know, Crash. I know. I know. I know. It's gonna be very difficult. That's all I do. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. You're good. Never mind that noise I made. It's a fine noise for you to make. Oh, 
Oh, do the ramps also boost you? Okay. No, I'm, I'm locked in. I'm gonna do this now. You got this. You got this. You. It's cool. What side of the road do they drive on in Australia? All of them. <laughs> well... That's something I never really thought of until this exact moment. Anyone know? Is third good enough? No. Third should be good enough! What the hell? I'm mad about that. I'm doing that again. Okay, third should be good enough. I'm I'm hex editing the game to give it to you. They drive on the left? They drive counterclockwise? <laughs> We're the only nation that drives on the right? Are, no. are we the baddies? They drive on the right in Canada. Well, Canada is basically just, you know, U.S. light. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I just, I was told by and, and Australia is U.S. extra. Okay, go on. I was told by someone from Canada that... That because magic mushrooms are in a legal gray area there, there's a lot of illegal magic mushroom shops that keep popping up. Uh -huh. Which is just really funny to me anyway. One of them is called Fun Guys. Oh. And I'm just like, I just, it's apparently that, like, the, they'll, they'll just open these shops and the cops will shut them down. And then they'll just reopen or they won't listen to the cops and they'll just keep going. Just don't listen to the cops. Yeah, apparently they're doing that with weed shops for a while up there too. Very interesting. Canada's very interesting to me. They got a train up there. Canada got trains? Yes, they do. Who let Canada have trains? Me! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want you to die. So I had to use my power. <laughs> me! Planet, Planet of the Vapes. Planet of the Vapes is good, too. Yeah. Alright, let's meet our friend Dingo Dial. Dingo Dial looks cool. It's like if you made an armadillo uh, a violent. Right. Now you've gone and done it. Them crystals are mine. You're not going to take my crystals. You know, I've seen a lot of fan art of all of these uh, villains and, and Crash in various situations <laughs> as, as a furry. But I've never seen the characters. Like, I see them say a lot of things. But they never talk about crystals. You never see Dingo Doll being like, hey, give me your crystals! It's always something else. Yeah, that's more of a, a game sort of uh, guffin. You, you, but you never you never see that in any any of, of, of the the arts for... I not, don't care about crystals no more. All I care about is fucking... Yeah, they're all like that. They're all like, they don't care about crystals. And it just doesn't seem right to me. I got his thing. I just think it'd be funny if there was a new dingo dial being like, Sex, what's that? I need me crystals. No! I got burnt. They're gonna give me the pity mask. Sorry, you're gonna get the pity mask too. Yeah, and with the advent of JO crystals, you'd think they'd have something to yeah, discuss. It's this emerging technology. Yes. Uh-oh. Yeah, recently discovered new advances in crystal technology. You know, I'm going to I'm going to find out that 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 that, that post about the geo crystals is like over It's over a decade old, isn't it? Yeah, probably. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Or look it up at work. Yeah, listen to us. He faked me out. You got deep fried. You know, sometimes it's fun to play games people have actually heard of. Yeah, this is fun. Not so, not so with the Army Men game stream. <laughs> Some of those games, some of them were fun, and then the rest were like, oh my god. Why did you do this? Why did you tank the series so hard, so fast? 
It's like your Activision or some shit. I think people still enjoyed that stream. They just enjoyed seeing the Army Men games again. But man, ex so. speaking as someone experiencing those for the first time, kind of, kind of rough. And then later games for PS2 apparently go even more off the rails. Like one of them starts with Sarge being microwaved. Cool. <laughs> it's like, no, Sarge. Let me in. There we go. Don't microwave Sarge. You didn't do nothing. I do that. You'd microwave Sarge? Oh yeah. I would destroy all those little army men. You know, I watched a whole thing about cooking things in the microwave. I didn't mention boys, but I should. <laughs> they should have mentioned army men. Like, you can cook Sarge in here. You can even use the aluminum foil. This is so funny. They're like, here's how you use aluminum foil safely in the microwave. And I'm just like, you know what? As if I were Panasonic, Bam, I would not ass. introduce that. <laughs> you thrashed me, mate. No worries, but you'll soon be up against much worse. Girl, you got the double jump. Now Crash can double jump. Oh, he's doing his stupid dance. I love his stupid dance. That is Crash Bandicoot Warped for the PS1. Ah, good gaming. That's what I gotta say. But where's this rank on our big list? Folks, what do you think of Crash Bandicoot Warped? Is it better or worse than Gex 64? Give us an RP Gex Cool if you think it's better, an RP Gex Nerd if you think it's worse. You may also use Bubsies in this case if you wish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're not going to stop you. Uh, looks like most people want this above the Gex Meridian. Okay, I was expecting that. But we actually have a, a much more important question here that I'm actually going to put to you in poll form here in okay. a second. What's better, Crash 2 or Crash 3? The poll has started. You have one minute to decide. All right, chat. I kind of had a feeling this being, uh, this being a very popular and well-received game that this would be better than Gex 64, but... The question is, is it better than Crash 2? I never really see people argue that, actually. They mostly just say, yeah, Crash 2 and 3 are great. Good games. Fuck Crash 1, though, is the, is the common sentiment. Which I don't agree with. I actually like that one the best, because it's, it's quite challenging and deranged. But I'm curious to see how this turns out in a public forum. Can't we put a bet on it? Not this time. No. I want to make this official, as Crash does his lewd dance in the background. He's dancing, I, I, he's dancing in the corner here. That's him in the spotlight. Losing his religion. <laughs> yeah, it's just a Bandicoot Catholic. Got in trouble with the priest and, you know. <laughs> okay, it's becoming clear. With 65% of the vote, Crash Bandicoot 3 is the preferred game among uh, the discerning platformer veterans that watch Retro Pals. What the fuck? Crash 2 is better. I look. I it's the votes are right there. I can recount it if you want, but mm -hmm. uh, the votes don't lie. Okay, is this better than Spyro the Dragon? Oh, that's a good question. I say, God, I can't. But I don't want to put this above Spyro. I don't think it's better than Spyro. Hmm. Chat's like it does not go above Spyro. Wow, so, okay. everyone is saying no. So that's okay. I agree. Universal. Okay. Oh. Well, that makes this uh, this is the easy decision then. Okay. So then, just straight right above Crash Bandicoot Two. Yep. Okay. I think they're both they're both about qualitatively the same, so that tracks. Still, Spyro One, quite a quite a game. Crash Bandicoot Warped. Warped. All right, thanks everyone for voting. Thank you for your input. We've now added a new 3D platformer to the list for possibly the first time in a year. It's been a, it's been a while since our last one of these. All right, now the, now the real question of the evening. What do we think of Typhoo, Wrath of the Tiger? More importantly, what the fuck is Typhoo, Wrath of the Tiger? Yeah, Has anyone actually. played this? 
I saw this streamed within the last week, believe it or not. I didn't stick around to see what they thought of it, but it was being played. This isn't a real game? Well, look at this. It's from DreamWorks Interactive. Doesn't get more real than that. Hey, Muware, congrats on the Devil Dumper Doris run. That was that was really good. Yeah, I watched them. Glad that we was could good. show that off in front of a large crowd at the uh, Big Bad Gameathon. All right, Alex, here you go. DreamWorks Interactive. That yep. kid's is that kid still in the moon? I heard they got rid of the child in the moon. He got replaced with Typhoon. Yeah, all right, Typhoon killed the child. You're dead, Typhoon. I am Taifu and I'm here to say I'm a tiger in a major way. I got cool little claws and a big mouth too. You know I'm going to attack you. You just made up his own theme song. Yeah. I have a brain that can make novelty songs. It really sucks. I need a normal brain that does that thinks of things other than novelty songs. We are at risk of some Orientalism, yeah. Oh, you think? Maybe, maybe a little. Not a scrap of fur remains. I like the Don't dragon. Don't be so one. hasty. He'd make one heck of a nice rug. Stop! This temple is sacred. You cannot just enter and defile it at your will. Sepasai, thank you for the 50 bits. And welcome. It's Typhoon, which, which is a real game. Your pointless order of cowards. <gasps> Up yours, Kung Fu Panda. I was gonna say, Kung Fu Panda is a DreamWorks movie. Hey, this is it seems getting I've some of the same vibe. You are less than nothing. Wow. Wow. Pathetic. That ends that. Yep. Finish Game over. Cards. With pleasure. You failed the QTE. Okay, someone who worked on this movie was a lead designer for uh, Kung Fu Panda. Uh, no I wouldn't problem. doubt that. Well, Why should right. be any more important than anyone else? Because this tiger British. looks just like the Yesterday, lady tiger from Kung Fu and Panda, and today, but like well, male. So you too are all that remains of your clan. Time can greatly alter one's prosperity. Look what time spent caring for me has brought you and the temple. All necessary sacrifices. Stop dwelling on that which you cannot change. If you stay, they will be back. Visit the Tiger Temple ruins at the edge of the bamboo forest on top of the Great Hill. It is only there you will begin to find the answers you seek. All right, Brother Ping. I will do as you said. Good luck, Tai. And keep mind of your Kung Fu skills and training. Cool, I will. Yeah, yeah it could I have just as easily thing. been, uh, this would be the movie and Kung Fu Panda would have been the fucked up PS1 game no one remembers. Alright, Alex, take it away. You are Tai Fu, who got fucking pancaked in the opening cutscene. And now you have to make it up to your, your clan. Room temperature, thank you for the bits. Thank you. Was the tiger a love interest for the titular panda? You know, I've seen three of those movies and I remember nothing about them. I've only seen the first one. Press X to leap. It made me hungry. Press X to leap. Press R1 to crouch. Press triangle to block. Ha. Press circle to grab your enemy. Press circle again to throw your enemy. He's not your enemy. To unleash a furious combo, attack your opponents. By pressing square three times, followed by a triangle. Are these instructions baked into the music track? <laughs> that would be sick, actually. Wait, I'm not done explaining your moves. Hold on, I can get there. So you gotta grab, you gotta punch combo, you can duck by pushing the right bumper. Oh, okay. That's easy. It. Thank you, Gert DX, for the six month resub. I am turtly enough for the Turtle Club. <laughs> That's a fucking master of disguise emote. Yeah, I. I, <laughs> I thank you, to... thank you for the resub. I skipped out on uh, Dot's viewing of Master of Disguise. I've seen it twice. I've done my time. You're kidding me! <laughs> You're kidding me! 
you, you, that's you, not a movie. That's not a movie I want to see again. Me after either. It twice. I've seen it twice as well. <laughs> I've seen it. Oh God. But welcome to the Turtle Club. If you just recently saw it, I'm sorry. Do you know what I think? When you know what club needs to return? Hmm. Baby Genius is two super babies. Yeah, that's we, the real shit. That's a that's a watch party. That's we the need real to do. dire shit. That's a watch party. Yeah, way back when, my old roommate uh, worked at Blockbuster and made it a point to rent the worst movies he could find because they were free to him. We saw Geely that way. Geely might be worse than Master of Disguise. <laughs> I think Son of the Mask is worse than both of them. Yeah, yeah. Some of the very worst films ever made came out in the 2000s. Yeah, there was like a short era where we had... A short span where we had G. Lee, Master of Disguise, Son of the Mask, The Cat in the Hat. Oh yeah. It was a real renaissance. This game was designed by a guy who worked on Gex 1. Alright, we have the Gex link. This game looks okay. It's got some nicely detailed 3D environments. I wonder if they're doing the thing that Crash does, where they uh, load in new level layouts as you get there. That guy, Dana Gould. <laughs> How much you want to bet that line he recorded for uh, the Gex trilogy is the last he's ever going to voice a Gex ever. Because <laughs> I don't think you could pay him enough to, to do that again. It's... Is there someone talking in the background, or is this chanting? There's someone talking. Okay, I heard something. Or has he finally looped around, and now he's desperate enough to do the Gex voice again? For Gex 4, it's about time. You got a good strut. That would be a good bonus that would get me to buy the Gex Trilogy if they flesh out and complete uh, Gex Jr. He's doing YouTube interviews as Dr. Zaius from Planet of the Apes. An insane thing to say, but also I believe that it's true. I respect that, actually. Was he ever Dr. Zaius, or is he just doing it to be Dr. Zaius for funsies? <laughs> I have no idea. He's obsessed with Planet of the Apes. That's sick! That's so interesting! That's like the coolest, that's like the most anyone's ever made me like Dana Gould in a long time. <laughs> not his role as Gex. Why not? It could have picked anyone but Gex. It's, it's called Hanging with Dr. Z. It's a big series, apparently. Wow. You liking his cool combos? A little bit, yeah. Man, I had no idea that's what he was up to. Everyone needs to find a niche. This reminds me a little bit of... The IDOS game they released around this time about ninjas. It's just called Ninja. Uh, At least superficially. It probably doesn't play like it. Does does Ninja have a jump button? Does anyone know? I don't know if that counts as a 3D platformer. That was cool. Bye. Whoa, you're just <laughs> you're wall walking. Haters. Lots of platforming in Ninja? Okay. Well we gotta we gotta put that on there. Yeah, yeah, Ninja Shadow of Darkness. There you go. Can't get me in what about um, Death Trap Dungeon? That was another 3D platformer adjacent game that I'm not sure has platforming. Alex discovering speedrun strats in real time. Actually, it's like a slow run stat. More of a Tomb Raider like. Yeah, I think Tomb Raider would count, so sure. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Yeah, I made you remember Death Trap Dungeon. <laughs> Never thought about that in a while, huh? And yeah, the, I remember the magazine ad. I have no idea what the game itself is like. Level complete. Thank you, Ultra Pancake. 22 month resub. I'm just in time for some furry shit, baby. Oh, we're in that furry shit now. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Ultra Pancake. I have yet to see anyone come in and be like, oh, I remember this. It's just like, <laughs> maybe you played a demo of this, but I don't think anyone actually owned it or played it. If I'm wrong, let me know. You're in good company here. I know it's the blood, too. That's kind of strange for this cartoonish sort of game. Mm -hmm. They were aiming for the, the T for teen. It's edgy and cool. Never seen or heard of this. You did play the demo. God, Thrill Kill. <laughs> That was... What a weird, edgy era for video games. I gotta mention, so far, Alex hasn't desperately asked if he could uh, give the controller to me. Because uh, he got too frustrated or bored to continue playing. I also haven't, like, made said very mean things about the designers like I usually do when a game frustrates me. <laughs> I, I haven't accused this game of being bad intentionally like I usually do. Which I just want to say, I know no one's making the, it bad intentionally. I'm just It's just, listen, all gamers have things that they do with their frustration. Mine is to make, say, petty things about the devs. I don't actually think of it. I, it's really hard work to make a game. It's a gimmick like uh, Dana Gould playing Dr. Zayas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gimmick is just being like, why did they make a bad game? Usually not a fan when games stop you in your tracks and make you fight a bunch of guys to continue, but so far it's not many guys and it doesn't happen a lot. Yeah, it's actually not been annoying so far, but who knows what it'll be like later on. Ooh! Some nice moves, some good punchy sound effects. Snake's following me, I'm not gonna... hey. Do we have do we have a potentially underrated platformer here? This looks competent. It is. I'm invisible like this. Yeah. The tiger's famous ability to become invisible. Rondo of Dad, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you. Welcome to Taifu, which is a real game and apparently okay. I'm as shocked as anyone. Want that card? I was kind of dreading this one because there's nothing that really deflates you as much as a bad 3D platformer, you know? Because it's not like a 2D platformer where there's it's just like the game's there, you can enjoy it, take it or leave it. With these 3D platformers, they started incorporating more story and dialogue. And if it's a bad game, you start to feel insulted by it. Like, I don't want to fucking listen to this shit. You're a bad game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's exactly what I do. I don't trust your ability to write characters. Your game sucks. But this, they tell you just enough to make you curious and then drop you into this kind of cool 3D brawler world. This could work. And yeah, people... Uh, pointed out the link between this and Kung Fu Panda, how it had some of the, the same people working on it. Yeah, same designer. And it's both DreamWorks. Okay. Has the search for Reptar been ranked? I don't think so. Is that a platformer? If it has a jump button, it could count. Is that a thing you can stand on? Fine. I'm not, I'm not getting mad at the game devs. Okay. Good, as long as you don't get mad. See, it doesn't look like a thing you're supposed to be able to jump on. I think you can just you can just make a regular jump. I can't run. Just do it. I don't think it'll work. Well, shit! <laughs> I got owned. We haven't ranked uh, Jackie Chan Stunt Master. I think we streamed Tiny Tank once, but I don't think we've ranked it. Would that count? I think that has some kind of jumping in it. Cheetah in 3D is not real, but I wish it was. I was secretly hoping that uh, UFO 50 would have a Cheetah Man analog. 
being uh, kind of inspired by Action 52, but I understand why they don't. Well, they don't just have, like, a bad game. Yeah. They should. Okay, I think it's Danny's turn. I played a bit. Okay, nice work. Thank you. Yeah, I saw Dino play all the way through Tiny Tank. That game is nuts. It's it's basically if they stretched the kind of humor and Mort the Chicken over the length of a full game and made it about, like, just, like, war profiteering and stuff. We should play through that. That that tank, he's got a mouth on him. I can't believe how playable this game is. I'm actually really excited to I hear was, your opinion. Yeah, I was surprised to see you play this and just... Uh, you know, progress normally and seemingly have fun. Mm -hmm. Not scream fuck over and over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to the, the tiger, tiger ruins. ruins. Yeah, the follow up to Mr. Bones. Did that or uh, Mort the Chicken come first? Which came first, the Mort or the Tiny Tank? Chicken or the tank? Enjoy the club and strike when the crushers win. Sounds fun. Are there any controls I should know about? Uh, uh, it's a three button combo, and the last button on your combo is always going to be trying. Okay, I see. Speaking of Jackie Chan, I made Danny watch a Jackie Chan cartoon. Oh my god, that thing is horrible. Yeah, one of the worst one of the worst ones I've one of the worst cartoons. I'm not talking about Jackie Chan Adventures, but Which is a normal cartoon. It was Jackie Chan not Supernova. Jackie Chan's Fantasia. Yeah. It was some kind of bootleg animated production that had really uh, a really bad English script. And it had, it had a lot of blood in it, too. Yeah. And it featured live-action Jackie Chan telling you, like, Okay, kids, uh, always listen to your parents or whatever. And don't be afraid. Oh, you're just getting honked. <laughs> Thank you for starting me at the tough boss. Do you remember what that tooltip said? Uh, it was like you're supposed to wait for him to strike, and then after he strikes, he's going to Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. When does he stop attacking? I ever put you in front of the hard box. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did that. You're just like, okay, the fun part of the game's over. Mm. Ow. Mm. Does ducking do anything? Let's find out. I guess I'm going to lose this anyway. It does. Okay. Yeah, it reduces damage, looks like. Okay, we'll, we'll duck this time around. Hey, you can watch that thing on Tubi if you really want. Yes, it is. It's on Tubi and it's also on Peacock. Because there's a lot of really... Because I swear, the people at NBC were like, uh, just... It's like they bought the same package of crap that Tubi bought. It's really interesting. There's some real bad stuff on that. Peacock. Peacock's anime selection is a psycho nightmare. It's great. Whoa! Combo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mostly have a Peacock sub because I got a good deal on it, and also because it's where the Illumination movies are. And of course, you know me, the big minions. That's Alex, the minions freak. It is. It is. Nice. Guys, give Danny a hand. I feel like I just kind of mashed my way through it, but sure. Eh, not too sold on the bosses, but I'm curious to see what the gameplay is like. It'd be funny if the rest of the game is just really bad and I only played the good part. <laughs> yeah. He just handed it over at the right time. Most impressive, young tiger. The Crusher Python was a formidable opponent, but your skills, though rough, serve you well. 
Who are you? You may call me Master Typhoon. You know my name? Do you know what this place is? The abandoned Tiger Temple ruins. Fallen, but not abandoned. Long ago, a great battle was waged here. During the music the in this is really good. <laughs> it's really good. Blood of the noble very White atmospheric. Tiger Clan stains these very stones. And now they're all gone? Long gone. Taifu sounds a little but bit like uh, Ryo Hazuki. A little bit. Around you. Each of us has an inner spirit, an energy, fed by the world On that day, us. did you see a dragon in a black car? Witness time. Nasty move. How'd you do that? The blue bar I've added to the top of your screen will grow. I'm just glad this character transitioned by the time Summon Kung Fu your came energy. <laughs> Make it yours. Concentrate. Focus. Now press L1 to fire. Oh. Cool. Well done. But there is much more to learn. Wait, their mouths do animate. Listen what the? Carefully. You That's will crazy. head into the jungle and meet with your cousins. The they didn't even do that in Metal Gear. Inside mm -hmm. their I fortress, feel advanced. you will earn an audience with their master. He will instruct you in the feline ways of your kind. Leopard Clan, huh? Well, they'll never guess who's coming to dinner. Yeah, maybe me. not. Yeah, I'm coming to dinner. It's me. <laughs> oh boy, dinner. I love dinner. Yep. Dinner time, any second now. Dinner's coming, hold on. Here comes dinner. Folks, I'm pressing fast forward. Where's dinner? Oh my god. It's so funny that the game crashed right before you were gonna play a fun part. <laughs> well, I guess I guess we're just gonna have to rank this based on what Alex saw. Did oh I say Oh my god! Wait, did I get a chance to save my game? I think I might have. Can you push F11? Yeah, let's see. Man. <laughs> Come on, Taifu. You promised me dinner, and then you just, you freeze. It can't be like that. All right, I'm going to have to do that boss again. <clears throat> It's okay. Danny, this sucks. Is Taifu Wrath of the Tiger not emulated correctly? Danny, I'm so sorry. This is where everyone starts saying, why aren't you using Duck Station? And I say, you use Duck Station. I use what works for me. Yeah, people people will do that. They'll be like, we don't like the emulator you're using. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like it works 100% of the time, except for now. <laughs> Uh, people don't stream. They don't know. Alright, time to watch Danny's amazing performance again. That's okay. I did it once I could do it again. Danny's an ultra gamer. They can do this. Am I an ultra gamer? Yeah. You're an ultra gamer uh, versed in ultra violent combat. Was I winning those trades? Oh, I guess I was. Yeah. All right, there we go. <laughs> why should you why should you use Bleem? Yeah, that's my problem. I'm not using a uh, fucking uh, Connectix virtual uh, PlayStation. Fast forward this for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna push the start button to skip this. Hey. hey okay. There we go. All right, we're back in it. Now I get to play the game. Come on, your energy. Now press L1 to fire. Nice. Ooh. Nice coin. I like when money has holes in it. That's I do too. I think it, I think that's cool. I think it looks so neat. It really does. <laughs> no dollar PSX is that real? Yes. 
I know for a while, No Dollar GBA was the only way you could play certain games. Yeah, there are some games that only would work on that. It is real! Oh my god. Glad that guy's still around doing things. May you speed me up, please. Of course. Hey, well... Bad news. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex, hit F11 and let the demo role play because we're going to rank this game. <laughs> it's not in the cards for me to have fun with Taifu tonight. Nope. It's, it's just my job to beat that boss and then have the game crash on me. But I think Alex played a good chunk of that game and showed off a, a good piece of it. It's a platformer with some brawling mechanics. It's got these combos you can learn. It's a little bit uh, more complex than your typical hop and bopper, but uh, I thought it, it looked fun, supposedly. So let's rank this. Folks, is Typhoon Wrath of the Tiger before it crashed? Better or worse than Gex 64? We have Gex Cools. We have one Gex Nerd. A couple of Gex Nerds. Of nerds but, but most, uh like it. It's mostly cool. RP Gex bordering on Gex cool. Yeah, it's looking like it's almost Gex equivalent, but slightly better. Maybe just like 10 or 20 places above. What's the next uh, PS1 game above Gex 64? That would be Akushi the Heartless. And then above that is uh, Gex 3 Deep Cover Gecko and Jackie Chan Stuntmaster. Oh, we did rank Stuntmaster, yeah. I want to say this is better than Akuji. I think it's better than Akuji. Is it better than Gex 3, though? Hmm. What do we think about that? I don't know if it's better than Gex 3, but I think it might be better than Ukulele. I think it's better than Ukulele. Say it's better than Gex 3? It looks, it looks better, better than Gex 3? Okay. I could see an argument being made for it being better. Okay, but is it better than... It's a little more focused. It doesn't make you wander these massive levels searching for doodads. Okay, let's say it's better than Gex 3, just for the sake of argument. Okay. It's is better... it better than Jackie Chan's Stuntmaster? i seen people in chat saying to put it above Glover. There's Glover. Right here. Hmm. Above Glover and below Star Wars Shadow of the Empire actually sounds really good. You think so? Yeah. Would we be able to uh, live with ourselves if we ranked it in such a way? What do we think? Does anyone feel very strongly about Taifu, Wrath of the Tigers, presence in our list? Okay, okay. Below Jackie Chan, Stuntmaster? Okay. Below Jackie. Multiple people say below Jackie. So. Okay, I think we're zooming in on uh, okay. the place where it belongs very quickly. How about below Jackie Chan, above Spawn, Armageddon? Yeah, this is better than Spawn Armageddon. I like that. Okay. You know what? Uh, Danny Override, do that. Okay. <laughs> That's an order. Done. So not quite as good as Glover, but it's better than Spawn Armageddon. Not everything is. DreamWorks, you got something to be proud of with this one. You could maybe turn this into a film series if you play your cards right. The Kung Fu Panda predecessor, Taifu, Wrath of the Tiger. It's not only a real game, but it's apparently pretty good. How about that? All right, okay. Aside from the game crashing, I was pretty good. I was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, another game that I really want to check out, and I'm curious to see what people think about is our next game is Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. This was apparently part of a series here on PS1. The second one had Taz in it, uh, but the very first one is just Bugs. So let's let's play it. Anyone play this one? This one completely passed me by. I had no idea that this game existed. Is it good? Some people seem to like it. Aw, oh, man! Mm, mm. Well, there's a point against it already. <laughs> Gonna be sad if this isn't a crazy castle clone. Alright, Alex, here you go. Oh, no! Man! 
All right, let me let me take a big sip of water. <laughs> you got to steal yourself for this one. Okay. It's from the Jersey Devil developers. I don't think that one ranked too highly on our list, but maybe they learned a few things. Are we at the point yet where I have to explain what Bugs Bunny is? Or is no, he still like... No, people still know Bugs. Okay, alright. Remember Big Chungus? Oh yeah, yeah, that put him back in the limelight. Alright, it's Big Chungus, but less big. There you Medium go, that's, that's, that's Bugs Bunny. Here I am, Pismo Beach. Hey, wait a minute. This doesn't look like Pismo Beach. I probably should have turned right at Albuquerque and... Ooh, look at the size of this carrot juice dispenser. Did you know there's an actual right turn in Albuquerque you need to make if to stay on Route 66? Yeah, it's... Really? Yes, it's actually marked in, on That's Google... what he was talking about? Yes, no, it's marked on Google Maps and everything. I'll show you. It's, it's marked in... No, there is an official right turn in Albuquerque. Ah, the game became quite loud. Oh, it certainly did. That's true. Wow, we're nowhere. Bugs Bunny found the time machine from Dragon's Lair 2. And he's about to get eaten by something, probably. Now, uh, where the heck am I? Maybe the person who lives in the silo will tell me where I'm at and how to get out of being at here. Come right in. How do you do? My name is Merlin, and I'm a sorcerer. That's yeah? not Merlin. Really? A sorcerer? Come on, let me see a sorcerer. Huh? Please, please. Of Look course. at his hat. That's not Merlin. Welcome You're being tricked, Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You know, that's a good trick, Moyle, old Goyle. Can you do this one? <sighs> How do you do that? He's a cartoon. Oh. That gave him a hobby, but Big I still chungus. ain't near it to my natural habitat. Uh, sorry to interrupt this entertaining demonstration, but uh, can you tell me where I am? It seems that you are lost in time, my dear. Here, it's nowhere. Nowhere? And do you know how I could get back to uh, somewhere? Of course I know. You must go from one era to another and find symbols like this. They will open you new locations and will progressively lead you back to present time. All progressively, right. you say. Listen I also forget right. about the Tom and Jerry gotcha, but I guess I can't play it in America, so... Symbol. Went to the Leica That's exhibition? That sounds cool. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. All right, we've got to co collect some shit and progress through levels, apparently. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Welcome to nowhere. Oh, this is Billy West? No wonder he sounds so weird. Yeah, Billy West does a lot of voices, but you can tell when it's not, uh, when Bugs Bunny is a little off. So Bugs Bunny had his own 3D platformer here on PS1. And this is what it looks like. I wonder what sort of game this is. Is it more of an open-ended explorathon, a la Gex? Is it more of a Crash Bandicoot affair? You never want to be in a Crash Bandicoot affair. No, you don't. That's bad for everybody. Crash can't keep his mouth shut anyways. <laughs> okay, it's level-based. I like to hear that. <laughs> I don't want information. I don't need to know nothing. Don't fall in the water. All right, bugs can't swim. Got it. I'm also getting those Jersey Devil vibes. Yeah, I can I can tell this is from the same makers. A lot of 
places for me to go, but no I think it wants you to read those signs. The big glowy ones. Alright, let me start from the beginning here. What did I miss? Okay, let's start here. Okay. To land on explosive objects like TNT boxes without injuries, use the HEARS action to softly land on it. Use the what action? HEARS is what I heard. Huh, okay. Oh, pressing X push- oh, ears. So I'm glad that folks in chat like this game. I have to say something about the controls. Yeah? I'm not a big fan. Not sure if this game is getting off to a strong start, but I aim to give it a fair trial and execution. If need be. You can use objects like mallets to oh. bust an enemy, but do it. But do it. <laughs> Why is that so hard to do? You hit that like five times. There you go. <laughs> All right, so far we're getting some Bugs Bunny action. He's whacking things with mallets. He's he's uh, rotating his ears. Using the push action, they can be used as a step to reach a too high ground or object. Are we pushing crates in the tutorial area? Is this what Bugs is known for? Get ready to stack some boxes. Oh, that's that's a paragraph. I'm here to play a Bugs Bunny platformer, not read paragraphs. Sorry, I haven't gotten my hands on this game yet. I shouldn't be complaining. Oh, you need another crate. I hate reading. I quit writing I hate reading so much. <laughs> no, there were just no more jobs left in the game industry. And streaming paid more. Nice work. This seems playable. It is. Not quite sold just yet, but we're just getting started. While you're running, try the roll action. It can be used as an attack against enemies. Gotta roll, huh? <laughs> Wow. Use the jump or kick action to defeat some enemies. Combine both actions. Beat up that child. Ones. You gotta jump on his head. If you can't hurt an enemy when he's facing you, try to kick his behind. It could work. You could also try to tire him out first. When he stops, kick his behind, bunny. Somber is a good word for this. I was looking for the right word to express the uh, feeling I'm experiencing at the moment. It's much less wacky than I expected. It's more... Maybe just the, the level itself is just kind of dreary and more serious in tone. Okay, sparkling object. How do I get there? Are you going to tell me? To climb, push R1, L2, R3, L4. Okay. 
Hey, there you go. Service Kane, thank you for the 50 bits and <laughs> the bugs on Wii. <laughs> a lot of people are describing this game way better than I can. <laughs> Somber, ennui, all words you can use to describe your typical Bugs Bunny cartoon. Okay, what else do I have to use? This. Read the sign, buddy! You can pick up objects and throw them to enemies. You can also pick them up, move them, and drop them somewhere else. Thank you for the 100 bits, uh... Cartman, yeah, it's definitely Mopey Tunes. tunes. <laughs> I have hope it's gonna pick up. We just need to explain a few things first. It's given that same, a little bit cursed vibe that Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday has. Also yeah. Some enemies to reach inaccessible objects or grounds. I'm gonna get a lot of Looney Tunes shorts out of horror themes, so I can see what they're going for here. Camera, I am going to get mad very soon. How you liking that camera? Done all the tooltips. It's looking like there's no more uh, glowy things. I'm looking. I'm looking. How many of these carrots do we need? Room temperature. Thank you for the bits. Eh, yeah. What's the point of life, Doc? <laughs> Pick it up, bugs. Put some life into it. To avoid awakening someone, use the snake action. It can also be used on fragile browns. There's stealth in this. Hmm. Yeah, sneak up behind him and kick him in the ass. Nice. Well done. And yeah, where's the where's the violin sting when he's uh, doing the sneaky? Jump and press the dive action over a rabbit hole to get under the ground. To exit, reach a hole and jump. It's like an obstacle course for dogs. Okay, I appreciate they put this in the game. That's kind of nice. Not emerge. That's an X to. I have to find a hole to get out? Okay, so I have to. It's kind of unnerving that he's just <laughs> this omnipresent thing that can move underground. Is there no hole on this side? He's completely invincible. I don't think there's anything to do on the other side, so. Looks bunny crazy asshole. I feel bad because people uh, did reply positively when I posted about this on Twitter. Like, oh man, I love this game. So there's there's something to like here, and I want to find that. Well, I have no clue what to do now. I think I did everything. Thank you, Carmen, for the bits. I find this way to the Albuquerque Cemetery. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe go back to the castle. Yeah. Hello, travel hare. Let me save your position. Let me save your position. Thanks, Moyle. Bye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. All this has been dialogue from an Infogroms game, which makes sense. Ten, huh? Okay, and how many do I have? Oh, okay, so I can just go inside the thing. All, All right. right, you did it. So you do need to collect those. That's a point against this game for making you do this shit. Pick this one up to start your quest. It opens the Stone Age era. Get in and there. Choose one of the opened entrances. Visit all of them and get back all the hidden clocks they contain. All right, new area unlocked. The Stone Age. Great. Thanks, Moyle. 
Anything else? Uh, yes. Of course, picking up carrots will raise up your energy. That's it for now. We'll probably meet again somewhere in time. Time traveling is one of my favorite hobbies. I'll teach more later, time traveler. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. Now, people have said it's kind of weird to start a game with uh, a dreary, like, graveyard level, like but so many said, games did that, is the thing. Why not? And it all, never works. <laughs> at the man when he discovered the penicillin. Like that Garfield game on Genesis just immediately starts with the, the dreariest shit possible. Gex famously started in the graveyard level. Okay, here we go. Game is about to start. All right. Ready? Here we go. We have video game. Meet Elmer Fudd's ancestors. Kill Elmer Fudd's ancestors. <laughs> we got dino bones, we got holes, many, many good things here. <laughs> okay, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, I, I won't lie. All right, Don't maybe like that I'm fighting. Maybe this is good once the game starts. Yeah. Today's hunt is Wabbit. Yeah, Wabbit, Wabbit, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, dog? Wabbit, Wabbit. Yeah, Wabbit, Wabbit. Wabbit, yeah. Wabbit. All right, let's uh. That's true. He's running. Kill the Wabbit, as they say. All right, I'm in Dinosaur Mountain. Now this looks like a Bugs Bunny game. Okay. There we go. Ah, we got some color. We got some life in it now. <laughs> That's a cool dinosaur. Okay. This reminds me of Gex. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gex 2 starts with a really early cartoon level, and it looks a lot like this. You're even collecting carrots. I don't think they gave Elmer children in the shorts. Yeah, sorry to bring out the G word, but <laughs> it was inevitable. I don't think that that cave child can be killed. I don't think so either. I'm going to move on. Is Elmira his kid? Is that what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's named Elmira because... Elmer, yeah. What? Are you kidding me? No, I don't believe it. No, it's true. Elmira. I think that's I think that's a fan theory. I don't think it's his child, but I think that Elmira is supposed to be the the child version of Elmer. Do you know what I mean? What? That never ever occurred to me ever, but it seems so obvious now. There's a clock there. Clock. Okay, one clock. They have the same sort of face? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, everyone else is really easy to understand. Like, oh, Dizzy is the Tasmanian devil, duh, but Elmira. Huh. Cartman thinking about her bits. Base sucks. I see. That's true, she doesn't have a gun. <laughs> that's that's the thing that threw me. Alex took off his glasses and rubbed his face in, in a pure gaming ecstasy. Pure gaming ecstasy! Yeehaw! <laughs> do, 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 do. Stupid children, do do do. Running away, do 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 do. I got hit by a rock. Da 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 da. Ow. Sorry. This game. Alex has already played enough of this game where it's making him lose his mind. I'm curious to play this. Why? Experience this with fresh eyes. Fuck you. Hey. Not you. You're fine. 
fine. Okay. Notice I wasn't saying this during Typhoon. <laughs> See? This is oh, yeah. See what I'm... This is... And this map's uh, camera controls to L2 and R2, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. Remember, you control your ears. <laughs> See, I can't move the camera behind me because the rock is in the way! Hey, there you go. Alex's inner angry video game nerd is coming out. I love when this happens. It's actually pretty rare that this happens. Cartman, thank you for the other bits. One more level, Alex will be shipped off to the Animaniacs Tower. <laughs> I'm gonna have to live with those freaks. The Animaniacs reboot, did that happen? Yeah. Did everyone just agree to collectively forget that that happened? No, some people got real into it. Oh, all right. Not me. How was I supposed to get that without dying? Probably solve a puzzle or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alex so very rarely reaches this level of checked outness with a game, so <laughs> that's what makes me so curious to try this now. Some trees may be kicked. Oh, that's how you were supposed to get that, see? There was a reasonable explanation. Stuff the small rocks! People love the reboot, it's just, uh, it took years to happen, I see. Yeah, I never heard much about it since it was announced. What do I do with it? <laughs> so? What's the purpose? Take it down there and step on it to reach the, uh, the, the trampoline. <laughs> sorry, this is really funny. It's okay. My suffer- it's just- Cause you were- you were so receptive to the first two games and now you're just like, FUCK THIS! Does it really make you do this? <laughs> I don't... I don't like that. <laughs> God. <laughs> I get like, it! Hope you like stacking crates, kids. Please. Please, my love. I think you were supposed to... well... I'll let you play and have fun on your own. You're stupid kids, Elmer! <laughs> okay, and then he goes down. Yeah. And I... <laughs> you want me to take over? I'm giving myself one more try. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, that's fine. That's fucking fine. You're acting like a Looney Tunes character right now. Bugs Bunny is just getting your goat. He's gonna dress up in a, as a girl and you'll be like, Oh, I can't believe that was Bugs all along! Oh, that's fine. I can't believe that wascally wabbit tricked me into marrying him! Oh! Okay, Alex handed the controller over. I'm sorry about how wet the controller is for my sweat. <laughs> It is kind of wet. I'm sorry. Alex handed me a very damp controller. Because this game its... is making me gamer sweat. Forever ruining its its resale value. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Watch out for the kids. They suck. How do you... Uh... Oh, you need to be... You need to have it. one trillion... One, one of the one trillion moves you can do. Oh, yeah, and watch out for the random falling animals and don't hit the... Well, that happens in Looney Tunes cartoons. Listen, sometimes when I get angry and I'm concentrating, my my finger, my, my, my palms just get very wet. I'm just a wet man. <laughs> wet man, Alex. Mm -hmm. Good job with the tutorial, though. That looks kind of uh, bad. Infuriating? <laughs> it looked, that didn't look great. Yikes. 
Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, get around to registering wet man gaming. I think that's your that's your niche. No, I don't. I don't want to do that because they're gonna be like, "Why aren't you wearing a wet shirt?" And I'll be like, "My character will never be wet, thank you." <laughs> All of my OCs hate dampness. They're all against it, so I will never draw them wet. Good to know. Oh yeah, I could be one of the wet bandits. No, you can't. Why not? Because you... Because <laughs> I hate being wet? Or because you just don't think I can be a bandit? Okay. <laughs> this game has brought out the worst in you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, you it's, can jump on those guys. Yeah, see? you can jump on the enemies. But... Good luck doing it. Hey. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, the wet bandits just made other things wet, which is what I'm doing. <laughs> True. Imagine, I break into your house, get really angry, and then wipe my palms all <laughs> over your house. Carter, thank you for the hundred bits. Oh, I'm wiping my palms all over your monitor. Dude. No, my video games. <laughs> Put it all over the mic. No. I'm sorry. My, my, my palms are so wet that I can feel them cooling down as the air hits them. <laughs> How do and you do carrots. the stupid... Okay. It's, right. yeah, right? It's, it's great. I don't know if I'm sold on this hey. game. I can see the cactus hurts you. Yeah, yeah and, and I hope you don't accidentally run into it. I can see why people liked this back in the day. And really, I don't hold it against you if you still like it. You can like whatever you want. It's just we're here to rank these games in an impartial and very wet manner. I'm cooling down my hand by having it, like, hold my water bottle. You feeling cooler now that you're not playing the game anymore? Yes, I am. I'm, okay, feeling, a lot I'm feeling a lot calmer. You know, I'm starting to get into this. Now that this game took a while to get going, but now that it's going, it seems, uh, it seems all right. I hate them. I don't how, like how they aggressively pursue you, yeah. That feels like something that's a little bit too much of a challenge for level one. When you're still coming to grips with how it controls. I'm starting to calm down. I'm feeling <laughs> a little bit better. Yeah, okay. He's starting to make make up with Bugs Bunny. It's not his fault he was in this game. It's not. It's He'll do not. anything for money. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna fucking... Okay. I guess? Mm -hmm. There's an exit hole behind you. Oh, there's another clock here. <laughs> Oh, he didn't like that. <laughs> Alex Pals, back in action. Thanks for the 100 bits. How far back? Uh, could be worse. It honestly could be. That wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I was expecting it to put you at the beginning of the level. A lot of things that annoy us about this game are just present in Looney Tunes cartoons to begin with, like the anvils falling. Yeah. Being in the Looney Tunes world would be pretty annoying. How do you, it? You jump and then you press R1. Okay. There, see? It's not so bad. I guess. <laughs> But you left some stuff behind you. Oh. Guess who needs a kickstart? This game. Hey, what's up, Doc? Let me save your position. Thanks, Moyle. Bye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. Dop, 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 dop. <laughs> Maybe it just goes to show how high quality the first two games we played mm -hmm. were. This is a licensed game. Shh. Be very, very quiet. The standards are going to be a little bit different. <laughs> Goodbye, Moyle.
Whoa, hey. <laughs> you can't just you can't just grope Elmer Fudge. Yeah, you can't, you can't do that to him. Boss fight. <laughs> just touched his ass. Just, just felt him right on up. <laughs> All right, what do I do here? I probably have there to. There are holes you can climb in. Yeah, I, I probably have, have to go in the holes. holes. And then jump up there under in front of like behind him when he's doing that. Yeah, I can kick it. You gotta kick his behind. Oh, he's looking in a hole. Oh, it's gotta be a different hole. Yeah, it has to be a different hole. But it takes a while. And by that time. Got his ass. Ow. Timing's pretty tight, actually. Yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> I'm getting it. I can be taught. You can. I can learn things from video games. You it. Ouch. All right. Okay. It's not so bad. He die. Great. Thank you, World and ZZT, for the raid. We are playing Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, and we've lost our brain. So. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Hope your ZZ team went well. Yeah, this game, Alex is not as enchanted with this game as I am, but then again, he had to play the extended and very boring tutorial. I said just many mean things about the rabbit. <laughs> I'm just now getting into the game, and it's... Well, I'm curious to see what people think about this, actually. This is Mascot Friday, where we rank platformers against one another. We're trying to decide whether this is better or worse than Gex 64. Retro Pals lost their minds. Great. Just perfect. You have completed this level. Let me I love to complete this position. level. Me too. Let's check out Peace one more Moyle. level and then we'll get to the Bye. ranking. And okay. then the weekend can Goodbye, begin. Moyle. Honestly, it felt like we were having too much fun with the first few games. We had to we had to balance things out. Isn't there another one? Did it not open up a... I thought it did. Yeah, I thought for sure. I could have sworn. Just 99 carats. I got everything in the kicks. Check the time machine? Yeah, check the time machine. Stone Age. Pirate Ears is open. Oh, okay. all right. When are the pirate years? What 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 era is that year wise? 1700s, 1800s? Okay. Thanks for the hint by the way. I wouldn't have figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> they made it they didn't make it obvious where the next level was. 2003 to 2007. <laughs> yeah. That's when Napster was a big thing. Hey, what's up, doc? <laughs> this year's mine. Come back here, you mangy mutant rabbit! Two seconds in a new era, and Bugs can't just... He just can't help to be an asshole. Nah, he's just a little shit. Maybe he deserves this. Maybe he should suffer more? Yeah. Maybe this is his just punishment. Get five of these objects Bugs Bunny to off to find the one piece. Symbol. Thank you, Carmen, for the 100 bits. Yo, yo, ho, he took a bite of golden carrot. <laughs> You know what they should do just for funsies? What? The One Piece, the One Piece anime should use the four kids intro just once. Yeah, why not? Bring it back. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I didn't like when Bugs sensually touched uh, <laughs> yeah, Cal Elmer. That was the wrong animation to use for that. He spent a good long time doing it, too. It was disturbing. Bugs? He gets no distance when he does this, is the problem. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Oh. Nice, nice. I like that it was running away from you. Like, uh -uh. <laughs> it successfully ran away, too. It had to stop before I could get it. Now, where is the fucking... Okay. Some of this animation is weirdly jerky, have you noticed? Yeah, a little bit. Limitation of the engine, maybe? Intentional? Now how do you- Oh, you gotta move boxes. You use R1 to push. Okay. No, it can't. Can it go down? Maybe the brown box can go down. That one, yeah. The one that says handle with care. Can you move it? Bullshit, you should be able to move it. Yeah, no, nothing doing. Hmm, maybe you jump up on that, and then you jump up on the other one. And then you... And oh, I see there's a box! Oh, I see what you have to do. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. So, what you're gonna need to do is push it over this way. Uh, I love video games. <laughs> Classic Looney Tunes moment. Okay. That's the thing, Bugs wants you to get tilted. He wants you to be off your shit, mad at him. I'm not gonna let that happen. He's a troll, if you think about it. He is a troll. I think you need to move that to there so you can jump up that. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's Bugs Bunny. Always pushing boxes. Yeah, Easter Ye Easter Yeggs is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's just I like that one because everyone fu everyone sucks. The kid sucks. Hey, Easter Bugs Rabbit, sucks. hooray! He hates his job. <laughs> just gets progressively more and more pissed. <laughs> All right, you need to lay down a yeah. A you need to you jump with the block that's down there. <laughs> Have fun. Have fun, mother. That's a Looney Tunes thing. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> I'm moderately delighted by this game. It's when it when it plays like a video game and not a tedium simulator, it's fun. But it very often devolves into tedium. For me, this is a solid six or maybe even seven out of ten, depending on how the later and levels are. And you pick are. up the item inside by pressing R1. Gotcha. And you throw it in. That's fun. Wait, do we have to do it multiple times? That's less fun. <laughs> Alright, dude. <laughs> Tedium simulator! <laughs> Alright, dude. Not bad. I would hesitate to call this a bad game. It's just, man, it's making it really difficult to like in some aspects. You say as you get hit in the head. Hey! Wait a minute. This one. Oh, 
Or was that, it? That's the way you can't. Yeah, you need uh, to go. The, yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, torch! Use the action button to pick it up. I think I have to set that to you. <laughs> that was a cool sound effect. Uh, uh, oh, this this camera angle is not doing me any favors. Okay, we survived. Uh, I see there's a hole underneath that. A hole, you say? Looks like you need to wear this guy down when he starts like. Hey, hey! Don't fight me! Quit pushing I that! You need to kick him. You fucking dick! I'm trying to push crates here. What are you doing? All right, fine. You uncovered it yourself. <laughs> I'm starting to get sick and twisted See? by this game. <laughs> Let's invite Bugs Bunny on the show. He's gonna get mad at me. Yeah, probably. Hey, you didn't like my game, eh, Doc? Sounds like a skill issue to me. He's not wrong. Huh. Just love making Bugs Bunny play Sokoban. Hey, you get that. <laughs> I'm a back. I'm the backseat gamer, but I'm allowed to because we're married. <laughs> yeah, you should get that. <laughs> All right, thanks. Well, you where would you get these insights if not from me? True, true. You should play good. Modern Bugs Bunny would say things like, "It's a skill issue." He would. He would say. He would say a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, he would. Many things he would say. <laughs> Many wonderful things in the world of bugs. Would he now? Yes. He would say, uh... Okay. <laughs> he would say, okay. <laughs> True. <laughs> now I'm gonna climb up with the golden carrot over there? I don't, I don't care. I want to beat this level. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just gotta haul this crate around. Oh, your crate disappeared! Oh! Uh, uh, that's fun, actually. Actually, I'm having a great time. <laughs> You're having a great time! Oh, you need two boxes for that? That's cool! <laughs> That's cool. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Very cool. Very attractive and sexy. When it's look, it looks like we need three, actually. Or four. <laughs> There's three. four. There's four. There are, there are four crates to... You know what? Hey, guess what? It's time to rank Bugs Bunny Lost in Time for the PS1. A game that is pretty fun when it's not about stacking crates, but boy, you sure do that a lot. When it's about stacking crates... Folks, is Bugs Bunny lost in time for PS1 better or worse than Gex 64? Give us an RP Gex nerd or an RP Gex cool. I could see the case for either one. This is an edge case to me. This isn't. It's not gonna stack up against Crash 3 or anything. <laughs> and there is some fun to be had here, as evidenced by people who replied to me on Twitter being like, hey, I like this game. It's good. Hope you enjoy it. Looks like it's trending around Gex, but below. Below Gex. And I did enjoy this to an extent, but boy, <laughs> it really makes it hard to enjoy. Which, yeah, your rating sounds about right to me. It's looking like this is sub Gex. Sorry to fans of uh, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. How about this? Uh -huh. We're going down on the PS1 list, and we've got 40 Winks and Muppet Monster Adventure. Do you think these are this is better or worse than that? I think this is worse, personally. I think this is worse than Muppet Monster Adventure. That didn't bring out the gamer in me like this game did. How about Mort the Chicken, another PS1 game? We ranked Mort down there? Yeah. Mort's great. What the what the fuck were we on? <laughs> do we really need to do 
some re-rankings? I think we do. Let's let's relitigate Mort some other time, but for now. Um, what's beneath Mort? Croc and Tonic uh, Eggs of Steel. Charlie's excellent adventure. This is better than Eggs of Steel. Is it? Yes. Okay. I say, having played through the whole thing. How about above Eggs of Steel, below Tonic Trouble? I think Tonic Trouble is better than this. You think so? What do we think, folks? Kind of low for this game that I thought was beloved, but coming to play it, it does kind of aggravate. Right. Bugs didn't kill a co-worker. That's true, true. <laughs> All right, put it in. Okay. Bugs Bunny Lost in Time for the PS1. Luckily, there's more Bugs Bunny games to play on PS1, including the sequel with the Tasmanian Devil and uh, Sheep Raider, which I don't even know is a platformer or not. Can anyone tell me if Sheep Raider counts for our list? By which I mean, uh, does it have a jump button and do you do platforming in it? Not really. Yeah, that's the impression I got. It didn't look like it had uh, much in the way of platforming. So maybe not, but I would like to cover it someday. Sheep Raider is all stealth, I see. Okay. Well, we will see more of Bugs Bunny on PS1 in the sequel, which uh, may be better, or it may be worse. Who even knows with platformers? Who can tell? But with that, you know what that means. It's the freaking weekend. It's the weekend, folks! We made it. It didn't seem like we'd make it. Uh, somewhere around the fifth time I had to stack boxes with Bugs Bunny, it didn't seem like the weekend would ever come. But now, it is officially the weekend. Go do whatever uh. you want to do on your weekend. Spin it however you want. Go play Bugs Bunny Lost in Time if it looked fun. You'll, you'll have some fun with it if you like the characters and you're willing to put up with the game's occasional uh, frustrations. Occasional frustrations, huh? I'm trying to be nice. I don't know why. <laughs> I just feel I feel nice and generous towards uh, Bugs Bunny and platformers in general, for whatever reason. We'll be back next week with uh, whatever our patrons vote to see. Next Wednesday is Licensed Game Hell, featuring one of two companies dedicated to the craft of pumping out licensed crap as quickly as possible. We'll be we covering the games featured uh, that were made by Grey Matter or Imagineering. That's up to our patrons. If you want to vote, head to patreon.com slash retropals. If you're at the $5 tier, you get to help us decide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A, lot of, a lot of real juicy stuff we could end up playing, so I'm really looking forward to this. Alex, why don't you look for... I mean, I mean I'll look for a raid target, <laughs> and uh, you wrap us up. You got bonked too many times on the head by Elmer. It's okay. Yeah. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retropals. We post full-length highlights of our streams there. Our latest one is a look at Famitsu's lowest rated game. So if you'd like to see what Famitsu considers the worst of the worst, do check out our YouTube highlight. We also have a Discord. You can join our Discord if you'd like and chat about with us if you'd like uh, about streams, about uh, games, and of course about your beautiful pets who we love. We love them. We love them. And we are in Blue Sky. Let me just drop that link in the chat. You can follow us there to find out when we go live. We've got new videos up on YouTube and all the Retro Pals news you can use. So consider following us there if you'd like. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. Oh, man. Do I take the opportunity? Do I do this? I think we're doing it. New to the world of Twitch and to the world of PingTuber is our friend Krungo Kong. Oh, yeah. Who is finishing off the week with some fighting games. It looks like he's playing like Garo or something. That's a good one. He's been he's been getting into a lot of good stuff lately. He's been getting good at uh, the Punisher arcade beat-em-up. Always glad to see more of that game because, man, that is a good-ass video game. So go say hi to Krungo. Have a good weekend. And we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks. <laughs>